What is up guys, Jack here, and today for you I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 7.1 or 7.1.1 device. So this is a new jailbreak by an unknown Chinese developer sort of team. This is just showing you this is my iPad mini first generation running on iOS 7.1.1. And before we start, you will need to change your date and time to the 2nd of June at 8.30. Uh, I don't know why that happens, but it is one of the requirements for the jailbreak to take place and for it to work successfully. If you don't do this process now, then when you click to start the jailbreak, it will tell you to do it. But it won't tell you in English. It has some weird Chinese lettering, which took, takes a while to understand. But it does have a photo sort of... Um, t telling you what to do. Also on the jailbreak here, um, def definitely uncheck this box uh, that I just clicked um, as this basically, if you don't uncheck it, it installs um, a third party app sync and if you don't untick this, it basically condones piracy, which isn't really what um, jailbreaking wants to be known as. It's not what a lot of the jailbreak community does. Uh, so if you uncheck this, then you'll just have Cydia installed and you have nothing to worry about. Bear in mind that I've sped this up, this whole process up dramatically. It does take about seven to eight minutes. Uh, it may be slightly longer as it's just quite, it's not a um, polished and refined jailbreak. There are a couple of bugs. Um, and also you are doing this at your own risk the whole time. But yeah, anyway, I've sped this up a lot. I've chopped out a lot of sort of the loading screens, a lot of the powering on the screens, so you literally just get the idea of what is happening, and we're basically done here on, jail, on the jailbreak, I would recommend you do a fresh restore before jailbreaking, as it just makes sure that you shouldn't have any issues at all, anyway if we just slide to unlock, uh, I've Cydia, I've already opened up Cydia once to prepare the file systems, so we just open up Cydia now, as you can see it's working absolutely fine, and if I scroll down right to the bottom, just in a second here, you can see that I am running iOS 7.1.1 and the latest version of Cydia, which basically just is the slightly different layout down the bottom, and it gives you the new iOS 7 application look for the Cydia icon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.